You know, in theory, I could have picked a better date before we start farming, but I'm going to go ahead and welcome you guys anyways to Farming Sim 17, where I get to try and make a living here at the wonderful map called uh, Lostburg. This is, I believe, a Farming Sim 15 map, but also you can get it on the uh, DLC kind of mod section in the actual game itself. So those of you who want to play on the same map as me, that would be pretty cool. This is going to be a somewhat realistic. You know me, I don't go full realism or anything like that. I go for slightly believable um, or it's slightly more um, kind of an in-between kind of function. We have some cool little park cars here. And we just arrived in Lostburg, and um, I am told that there is a farm nearby with my tractors awaiting me. Uh, we are going to be, in this series, one, we have a van, which is pretty cool here. We have the Lizard Rumbler van. This is a uh, downloaded asset from the workshop as well. We'll just go ahead and pull out and uh, make our way to the farm. I believe this is a kind of a sharp term. You might have to do bit of a two point here there we go and uh, I'm currently using a ps4 controller here in farming sim 17 it took me a while to get this thing kind of hooked up and bound but um, there could also be some kinks to work out later on uh, we are also using the seasons mod because I think that is probably one of the best mods uh, here in farming sim especially if you are um, playing single player on yourself kind of wish it was more uh, multiplayer oriented as well because that would be pretty cool but it doesn't look like that is the case currently you guys need to turn on your headlights it's raining in fact i need to turn on my headlights let's go ahead and do that here we're currently driving a, a little bit out of the main town downtown area of lostburg and we're on our way to our farm to see what all we can do i currently have each season set to three days um, it can be expanded upon if needed, if I feel like I am a little too rushed. You guys know me, I don't really play Farming Sim 17 a whole lot. I played it a good bit with uh, the Raptor and the Rat Pack a while ago. But uh, this is kind of my first real swing at taking a, a more, I guess less of a faffing about kind of mythology here. So here we are at our beautiful little farm. We'll just drive through the little main gate here. You can see we have a red harvester over there. If you guys want me to try and name these vehicles, I doubt I can. I know very little. There is our plow, our sewing machine, and I believe that is our fertilizing um, machine as well. We're kind of starting with some very basic equipment. You can see we only have 23,000 credits in the top right there. And here are our three tractors. And you can probably take a guess by now that these are downloaded. And I'm not really going to uh, start with any amazing equipment. I wouldn't mind uh, just essentially taking the easy, kind of working our way up there. Turn off our light. There we go. And so here we go. These are our two most basic of tractors that you can essentially get, the Universal 445. And it is a pretty nice standard kind of farming tractor for uh, the everyday farmer. We get um, a slightly more powerful one over here. I believe this is a um, a New Holland one. And it is our more powerful tractor. This was probably going to be the main workhorse. The other ones are probably going to be more for taking the wagons around and taking those loads to storage. Now, I'm also going to hopefully be doing this kind of by myself. I don't want to really hire any workers. We don't have much money to begin with. And... It is raining, but we have work to be had here in Farming Sim. So we are going to pull out of the garage here with the main workhorse. There we go. And go over to our tool shed. I'm going to go ahead. I don't know if these fields start plowed, to be honest. I haven't actually checked that as I press the wrong button and look around. So if we go to our map here, you can see that field 40, uh, they are harvested. So I don't have a cultivator. And I believe without that, we kind of have to do just plow work. So we'll start with field 40. 
and it is going to be the closest field. It's also our smaller field. We also have field 26 and field 31. Field 31 looks like it is for some grass, so we'll go ahead and get started on that. There is our plow inside our little garage. I like these kind of barn doors that are set up here. They're currently open, but you can close all of these things up. So we'll just kind of reverse into here as we just completely do some damage to the machine itself, but that's that's okay. All right. If I can't drive, I about took out that 4x4 beam. And off we go. Uthris, off to a great start in farming sim here. I'm going to be trying to play in first person as much as possible. I think, I think it's a cool way to play this game. And it's also a little bit more of a challenge to play like this. So it looks like we need to make a left here. I don't want to go too fast. This plow is actually pretty heavy for the tractor. And it could lift up my front wheels a little bit if I try and torque the back tires a little too much. So we just want to go fast enough that we can maintain control here. And once we start plowing, I believe we should be good to go. It's going to be a bit of a process to get these fields plowed. And it's making money on them. I don't you know how do I access these fields. That's... Let's try going to the right. I think that's a good thing. Over here. So this is some type of storage area we could potentially use for logs in the future. Tell you what, let's go down this little dirt path. I think this is a good way to get to field 40 over here. Looks like it. I also won't be teleporting around in this series at all. I just plan to uh, take this nice and easy. Alright, so our plow here, looks like it's set up to go that way, which is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and lower it into the ground, just like so, and start plowing this field as much as possible. I'm going to do a couple laps around the edge, and then probably at that point have a good area to work with. Let's watch, uh, make sure we take it just straight to the edge. No more. Lift, lift it up. Spin the spin the uh, tractor around a little bit. We're leaning. This field's on a slight slope. Oh wow! We cut some some heavy rows in there, didn't we? I'm we'll just lower it back down now. And drive forward. All right. Now I don't have a head tracker or anything like that, so I'm basically going straight off of uh, the PlayStation 4 controller here to look around, move, and adjust all my settings. Um, it will probably be a little complicated with, I guess, higher-end machinery as to how my controls hold up, but I hopefully, you know, if we can get through this wonderful wet weather, uh, things will just roll in, we'll make some money, and through the different seasons, hopefully make a, a profit and get some new equipment. So let's just plow to there. We'll go ahead and lift it up yet again. Now we're right here at the edge of our field. So I, I want to be careful not to roll, roll my tractor here. It's going to be a little icy in this location. All right, all right, all right. There we go. Okay, back into the field itself. We're trying to get some traction. And I want to get this edge kind of set out first. It's going to give us a little bit of a buffer. So I don't have to necessarily worry too much about uh, how wide I take the turns. And um, it should overall increase the process. I don't think I can back up with this plow. I believe it's pretty much just drive straight forward and go from there. We have some, some shrubs kind of encroaching into our farm field. If I had a chainsaw, I would probably trim that back. It's, uh, it's a little, little bit of a nuisance. This might be uh, something we want to do. Trim that back eventually. and You know, farm life is pretty hard, so it's going to be a bit of work. We're going to have to work with nature here. Now, I'm hoping that the clouds will end up breaking eventually. And in fact, I'm going to change a setting in just a moment. Uh, I want the game to actually run on five times normal speed. So let me do that real quick. 
just so that we are set up all the way. Let's see, plowed. Plowing's not going too great, to be honest. It doesn't look like from that map, but I'm just hitting the edge, I believe. So let's see, I need to go to options and uh, time scale. There we go. Save the game. All oh, right, and now we can keep driving onward. All right, let's do that. Lift up the back end yet again. Get this to spin around. Every time I uh, fall into the ditch, it really, really jerks the tractor around a little bit. Kind of hard to control. Is there a fence? There is a fence. Okay, so that's gonna create a bit of a problem. Let's, there we go. Spin that around. Now it might be faster to be honest to kind of plow this field in two parts. So we're gonna split this in half real quick so that we have two perfect squares to work with. I think that'll be a good thing to do. So take that straight to the edge. We'll lift it up. So we're gonna make this turn. There we go. Go ahead and put it back down. Okay, so it looks like the edge of the plow is pretty much lined up with our tire. So as long as we keep that kind of nice and level into the edge of this this row, we should be pretty good. Getting hung up a little bit. As this thing struggles, really struggles to find its traction. We might want to add a weight to the front, to be honest, just so the front end can help. It is a four-wheel drive tractor, so it should be more more powerful. I don't know why we're having such trouble on this one. I think my front wheels are actually kind of off the ground on this this pass. There we go. We, we, we're kind of fighting, fighting for it, but we're definitely getting there. There we go, and you can see we made that corner a lot easier on that one. Let me look at the front of my tractor. I don't think I have enough room for a weight there, to be honest. I don't think it can take one. So go ahead and lower the back end again. And off we go. This is going to be quite the process. Let's, let's go ahead and change views, see what it looks like from outside here. Wow, this is this is gonna take a little while. I don't think all four of my tires are touching, and that's that's really the problem here. So I'll tell you what, I think at this point we're just gonna go ahead, do a little bit of a speed pass, so you guys get to see this happen a little bit quicker. Come on, there we go. And then what's happening right now? And hopefully, hopefully we can either move on to the second field or maybe get our first kind of plants. Uh, going on this first field here, field 40, and around this turn. Here we are. Almost done plowing field number 40. It is about uh, 11.38 here. The rain has stopped and cleared up, and look how beautiful this place is. 
I'm really happy with the way the Seasons mod makes everything green during spring. And then, of course, uh, pretty much a normal color during the summer. And you get uh, autumn colors and, of course, uh, barren leaves as well during the winter. Now, the evergreens, the pine trees and things, uh, they don't really change. But, of course, they wouldn't otherwise. But everything else you can see that's a lighter shade of green, that will change throughout the seasons. And will provide a really cool transition and very good sense of time as we progress through the series here. Okay, we are coming up to kind of our final swath here, and um, due to just just how I have to work this tractor, it is um, taking a bit longer than it definitely would have otherwise. So if you take a look, you can see that right now in the field, I'm turning, but it's really not doing anything. Um, due to our front end slightly lifting off the ground and the soft soil, um, it's, the front end is not assisting us at all and that is a bit of a problem so hopefully when we get rid of this heavy machine it will uh, straighten itself out and the next step of the process which is of course sowing our seed is uh, going to be a bit of a smoother and better transition here so this final swath by the way does take a little bit longer because we don't have that front wheel traction either due to just to either side uh, but I can talk about a few things that we do plan on doing here in the first year. So, what I want to do is plant some wheat in this field. And then we can also get some corn in our larger field. And I want to pretty much store half of each field in bales. And then potentially sell or store uh, those grains in our silos for either, you know, a time that we can either make a good amount of money and whatnot. So hopefully that is a good solution. I'm gonna just back up here. It is generally a little bit quicker going because this weight on that end means our rear tires can actually grip a fair amount better. So we'll go this way now. And uh, the plowing is pretty much done. So let's head back to the farm. Even though, I guess we're technically on the farm still. But uh, we'll head back to the storage units and barns. Woo, okay, losing a little bit of control there. I had to take this a little bit slower, I think, around the turns. We'll drop our little plow off and start thinking about upgrading to a uh, our sewing machine so we can get this first field planted. I don't know how far we can go or how long this episode is really going to end up going as well. If you guys want longer episodes with uh, you know each episode being a day, go ahead and let me know that in the comments down below. Also, let me know in the comments down below of any mods that I might be of interest or how I'm doing so far. I think I'm doing okay. Um, I'm definitely not, not a farmer by trade. So we'll go through here. This will look very beautiful in the fall. All these broad leaves around our home. So there is our tool shed. That's where I'm currently keeping kind of all of our tools. Our tractor has become rather dirty and so has our plow. But hey, at least they're getting use and um, they really look the part going forward. So we'll do this. We're gonna go ahead and just lower it for a split second and detach. There we go. You don't want to just throw it onto the ground. That could be a bad thing. So I have to kind of enter this through the other area so that I can back this up and get our sewing machine. That is the middle item right here. There we go. I'd shove a little, little bit over from our other things. Okay. So there is that. I think the beginning bit of seed should be off in this direction here. So head over here. I think it is past the workshop area and in this last little shed. We have our fertilizer and our seed right there. So we'll just back this in. Careful, this is a delicate machine. 
just like that. And we will start filling this up. Just like so. Now luckily I can I can't really notice my front lift my front end lifting uh, on this one, so it should go a bit smoother. It's now noon. It would be great to have a sandwich, but we're busy working on field 40. So we'll work our way over there. I have a feeling this whole area is just going to be one covered in snow eventually. Uh, a whole bunch of tire tracks going in and out. It's going to kind of dull our, our kind of tiled plaza that we have going here. It's a very nice looking farm. Obviously this is where all of our money went instead of actual good equipment. But that's okay because I enjoy the challenge. So we'll head up this little country road. I don't know if it's in snow time if all the roads will be plowed or uh, none of them on this map to be honest. I don't know if it supports seasons fully. It would be cool. Head over here. There we go. And I'm really glad I'm using a controller for this, just because it really helps get these smooth turns. Okay. So we're gonna quickly come over here. We're basically just gonna start on one edge hopefully work our way through all right so we're gonna go ahead and lower our sower there we go and it's just gonna rest on those little wheels we are then I need to look at the menu a little bit here so we are going to unfold it by pressing 2 there we go and then we are going to turn it on I believe it's already on the wheat setting so it is on now And off, off we go. Straight through the mud here. Now, I would say I'm getting about an in-between sort of speed. You know, it's not quite as fast as plowing, um, if we could get good traction. But it's also not as slow as the plow with bad traction. So really, this shouldn't be too bad. And I really want to get some good straight kind of rows here just so things can look pretty nice and once everything is sewed in we of course will um, fertilize it and you know basically let it let it sit for a while there's actually in fact I'm gonna just stop the tractor for a second here if we take a look if I hold, I believe, Alt S. You can take a look at our growing periods and things. So planting is in the green. Uh, harvesting is in the yellow. And it looks like you can plant again in the fall with wheat. Um, I don't know if that's to just let it sit over winter or what have you. But um, we'll have to kind of figure this out as we go. And, you know, you can get some wheat right now. I believe it also tells you what kind of ground temperature you might need. Um, over here and if we take a look the ground temperature is 39 really I think that's close enough um, it might it might just slow it down more so than anything what else do we get in this menu we got uh, our settings and uh, that's about it yeah there we go so we will close this off we start the tractor turn our sew back on and off we go now hopefully when I start getting a few of these rows in I'll try and balance one of my front tires on the new terrain and hopefully that will give me a bit more traction to work with and it looks like we missed a few edge spots here but you know that's a, that's okay so we'll go to about there Just turn that off real quick Got to make this kind of slightly uh, treacherous turn here, but it's a little bit easier without that heavy plow weighing us down. And really, I might just go kind of smoothly back and forth. I think I think that might be a good good idea. So we'll lower this back down and we'll turn it back on and off. 
go. Hopefully, when we add fertilizer, the ground and dirt won't look quite as dull. Um, it will look a little bit more rich. So we'll go across. This is going to take, again, a little while. But I think it's totally worth it. I mean, just look at this machine. It's, it's so cool looking. There we go. Just got to get that left tire on there. So things go a little bit faster. We aren't being fully efficient, but... Um, I'm fine with losing a bit of efficiency for just that little bit of speed. There we go. That looks so nice. This field actually being planted. And off in the distance, you can see the rest of the landscape in the local area. Plenty of green trees out there, some nice little roads. I don't see any traffic right now. Everyone must be at lunch. If this was the DC area, of course, traffic would be a major, major problem. So we'll quickly rotate this thing around here. There we go. Just like that. So this, if I had to guess, if it took about uh, three or so in-game hours to plow the field, um, I will have to guess that it's going to take uh, three to four hours in game to sow the field as well. But uh, I think that that's fine. This is a super relaxing game, guys. It's also why I'm playing it. Um, getting a little stressed from Planet Coaster all the time. Also getting a little stressed from having to be, I guess, super creative all the time as well. And, and um, you know, everyone, everyone can get burned out from time to time. But then again, don't worry. We will continue with City Skylines and Planet Ghoster every week. It's just I'm throwing this into the mix just so I can come home from work, uh, drive a tractor around, have a good little time, talk to you guys about everything else and how your week is doing. Wow, this thing is getting so dusty. Look at that console and everything. We're, we're going to have to wash this thing eventually. another pass. Let's just check real quick as well. I noticed this one sewing the field that my lines, you know, you can see I missed a few spots. Just making sure I am not missing any spots when planting. And we'll probably just try and plow possibly once a year with the heavy plow. And well, maybe once every other year, depending on how things are going. And uh, we'll just use the cultivator in the meantime. Uh, I think the cultivator will end up being faster of a method than that heavy plow. But if we get a maybe a big enough tractor or a weight on the front, maybe we'll just continue plowing. Uh, the nice thing about the cultivator is that you kind of plow and fertilize the field at the same time, which can be a nice little bonus. I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm not fertilizing the field before sowing our seeds. Um, but again, I'm not super well versed in farming tactics. So uh, that is... It's a concern in the back of my mind, and I'm sure everyone watching right now is just like, Oh, Thrush, you're doing this wrong. Why am I watching this guy? I can go watch, like, Daggerwind or something. and He knows what he's doing, and, and he is much better than this guy. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm just learning, having some fun with a new game. Well, I guess it's technically not a new game, but uh, it's new for the channel. I don't know why I built a bench right there next to the field, but it just seems a little counterproductive to uh, have such a feature right there when I'm trying to turn around. Hmm. Interesting. There we go. That looks so cool. Zoom in a little bit. 
Nice. And that is a totally a screenshot opportunity right there. So it's a great reason to play these games is for the screenshots. Got some nice beautiful ones, some slight color correcting, and uh, you can get something pretty nice looking. So, um, I guess we might as well just go into a speed build section. Well, I say speed build. Speed farm section. And um, sit back, relax, watch this field get laid out, and then we'll come back for step number three on day number one here, early spring. We are now, one, I need to engage the sower. I don't know why I forgot on this last little section. That would probably help a whole lot. We're pretty much coming to the end of sowing all of our wonderful wheat seeds. And you can see uh, the whole field looking pretty good. It has been a few hours in the game. And you can see it's about, uh, about 14.30, which I think is about 2.30. Uh, I'm not the best at reading military time, to be honest. And um, it's going pretty well. Uh, a little bit faster on the sewing than I thought it would be, but I think it's just because we had less kind of faffing about with the actual plow, and uh, we were able to get more time on the field and actually get this kind of process going a lot quicker than the other one. So that's something to note for the future, especially when tomorrow... Uh, we'll be working on the next field, which is 26, and it's, it's it, I would have to say, not twice as big, but probably 50% 50, 50 bigger than uh, this current field. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, we might need to increase the weight on the front end of this thing. Uh, I think we have plenty of horsepower to pull it, and a little bit of weight wouldn't slow us down. In fact, I think it will speed us up because we'll have those two front wheels working in tandem at that point. And uh, yeah, it's just going pretty good. Uh, the whole day, not a spot more of rain. It's been very dry. And we've just been chilling here, listening to the hum of the engine, burning a little bit of coal. And it's, it's just, oh wow, I just love the greenery of this place. Now, this point, it looks to be some sort of selling point. I don't know exactly what. I haven't really looked and studied a lot of the map in these in this instance. Um, but these are things we're going to discover together. And I hope you guys are excited as I am to get this ball kind of rolling here. And hopefully we can kind of slowly memorize the map. In fact, we haven't really looked at the map kind of in a proper sense. You can see here. Uh, we have uh, a, a little bit of a gas station to the south and also the west of us. Uh, the main downtown area is to the southeast, and it is where the kind of freight yard is, the shops, the animal kind of uh, place. The biogas plant is to the straight east of us, and it looks like uh, something. I don't know a lot of the symbols here in Farming Sim, so if you, if you guys know them, um, this is definitely a good way to go ahead and look at the map for yourself. There we go. I'm going to have to drive through this shrub again. We really need to buy a chainsaw. So think about maybe cutting these back. I'm getting in the way. Let's shrink the map down again. Um, I would get rid of the map just for, you know, realism's sake. But 
to me is is not you know taking up too much screen real estate and it doesn't bother me that it's there in fact I rather enjoy it because it, it gives me uh, something else to look at when I am working around and, and I can see and hopefully try and study some of these roads so that eventually I don't need to look at the map at all when driving around coming up to this shrub here just gonna run it over a little bit I think I think that's it we'll just shut off the engine for a moment and here is our kind of planted field so you can see we missed a couple spots when plowing um, but currently I'm pretty happy with the overall effect so we're gonna go ahead head back to the barns Wow, our, our, our tractor is so covered in dirt. Look at this. Like, all the console is just caked in it. A lot of our steering wheel and our tires. Like, look at the side of those tires. We've been really struggling in the mud here. But hopefully, now that we have a nice level kind of driving plane, when we are fertilizing it, it'll go a lot quicker than with the, the plow or with the seed sowing. And this will be the last step, I think, for the day. At least the bulk of it. So we'll head down this way. There we go. There's our home, by the way. It's a nice, nice style. It looks like it's a kind of a slightly elevated. You can almost get into the first floor at the second floor level. And then uh, it might have a finished basement. I don't know. I've never actually been inside. I've been too busy farming, it seems. All right, back into here. So we're gonna go ahead and store this machine right here. All right. We're also going to fold it up, set it down, unhook it. Pull forward a little bit and around so we can line ourselves up with this machine here. There we go. And we'll have to take this over where we get the seeds so we can fill it full of some fertilizer. It's down here. There. Oh, by the way, these are... I haven't talked about them at all. But these are our current um, tippers over here. They're farm tech. Uh, they can also carry other items. Um, if we hop up, you can see they're rather shallow. You can open up the side door and things to help easy, easily load like bales and um, other kind of straw essence in there. And um, yeah, I just like them. They're cute. They're, they're rather small. I might, I'm going to have to, of course, probably buy... A bigger one eventually. So we'll just park this in here. All right, just lower it down. Start filling this up with some dry fertilizer. We don't have like a slurry or anything like that. We are poor, keep that in mind. So that'll come up now. We'll take this back over to field 40. Hello, garage. Now, to this garage, we can uh, repair and also uh, change the customization on our tractor. So, without having to go to the shop. I think that's a pretty nice thing to have in your farm. Hello, harvester. We're going to be using you quite a bit later on. Actually, I have something I want to test first. And I haven't, I haven't actually messed messed around with this yet. So if I hop out, come over here, and turn on our water pressure heater. Here we go. We can, in theory, wash our tractor down. Now I'm not going to wash it down fully, but I just want to see how well this works. It works pretty well. Okay, so we will turn that off. So. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a good final rinse once we're done sowing uh, our fertilizer into the soil over there. So 
close that menu down for now. That's the one menu I'm going to try and keep closed a lot of the time is the controls. Unless uh, I'm in a machine that I haven't tried yet on my controller. And um, it, should, it should keep, you know, the nice visual, I guess, fidelity of the series a little bit higher than otherwise. So we'll swing around here. Now it doesn't look like traffic take these back roads, which is kind of a shame. I think it would be a little neat. But um, they are rather narrow, so it also kind of makes sense at the same time. So we'll just put along here. All right, and just like before, we are going to lower this. Uh, let's see, do I have to expand it? It doesn't look like it. It just looks like I have to turn it on. Let's see here, left fertilizer spreader. Turn on fertilizer spreader. Yep, that's pretty much the same. Wow, that has a bit of a spread to it for sure. All right, so yeah, no, this is gonna be so much faster. Now we are pulling a little bit to the left. That might be the torque of the uh, actual spreader working there, which is pretty funny if you think about it. Oh wow, we are really torquing there. I'm, I'm giving a, a good bit of right input to uh, kind of counter steer this. Now it could also be due to the slope as well. Wow, that's a that's a wide swath, isn't it? Take a look at that. That's a really wide set of fertilizer there, but I think it looks cool. Now, will raising it affect us at all? Okay, yeah. So it looks like if I spread out a little bit, because it has quite a spread on it, we can cover even more area quicker. And it looks like we can only move about 20 kilometers an hour down the field, but that's okay because that's that's about twice as fast as anything else that we've done so far. I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll just do that, make sure that's good covered, and off we go to the races. Oh yeah, this is this is much much better and and, and less stressful to be honest. You know, I, I get to just go back and forth. Now I'm worried that if I'm going too fast over the field, if that's going to affect the crop at all, to be honest. I am a little concerned about that. Now, leaving this thing on, you can see in this whole turn, it did take up some of the fertilizer. And we currently have an okay amount. In fact, I should probably just look to the right and left here as I'm going, just to make sure I'm covering as much area as possible. But leaving it on in the turns, you know, you do end up wasting a little bit of it, but that means I don't have to stop at all um, and touch my keyboard to actually turn that off, which is my opinion for the best. Alright, so there is that. So much quicker. I don't, I don't even have to do a... Uh, a speed farm section, I don't think, on this one. I could, I could just drive back and forth and hang out with you all. Here we go. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. This happened a little bit quicker than I thought it would, to be honest. We may end up splitting this day in two. Episode-wise, we missed a little bit of a spot there, but I can I can hit that kind of at the, on the way back. Just make sure it's, it gets fully covered really like the buildings and, and the overall aesthetic of the whole area. It's slightly European, which is nice. All right, so now we will go back. I'm gonna try and follow the same tracks as I did on the previous pass, just so we don't, you know, drive over the crops too much. And I am just going so fast right through here. There's the little spot that we missed, so we'll just 
turn on the fertilizer, and uh, we got it, I think. Yes. Alright, head over here. Get the last swath of field. That looks like a stable's up there. I think that's where we keep our cows in that big pasture. bit of a spot. It's a little tight right there due to that brick wall, so we'll, we'll come at it in this direction so we can hit it. And there we go. So the whole field is fertilized. Let's we'll head back over here along the edge. Just like that. We'll check our map for just a moment. All right, let's check uh, soil composition fertilized. Got a lot of that. Uh, needs plowing is the red area, so you can see that's really the areas we missed, which is kind of a shame. Fruit types wheat, which is good. It looks like field 26 is the one that we own up there. Um, and that's what we're going to try and tackle tomorrow, which is the second month of spring. So let's tell you what, let's head up there and see what it's like. I want to explore a little of the map for the remainder of the episode. And it looks like something is planted there, which is kind of interesting. I think we can cut through here. Oh, good. We have a, a little storage shed as well. We might keep some some straw and things in this area as much as possible. What's this? I don't, I don't know what this is. It's a thing. Oh, wait, this is the selling area. Um, we need to go up into that next section there. This is a scale, so you can see how heavy our machine is. We'll head up this way, I think. Up here near where we'll end up keeping cows. I don't know if I'm going to keep animals the first year. I think I want to work on making some money. It looks pretty nice. You get a nice covered area. We have a lawnmower up here. There's a, a silage bay. So we can get some silage. We can go up through the wilderness now. We're getting pretty close to field 26. I've never been up this way before. Let's see, where's the proper way into this field? Yeah, I could drive through the grass, but that might be a little lame. Now this might be it. Let's look at the entry point. So this is field 26, you can see. And uh, it has some plowing that needs to be done. That might be something that we'll end up doing eventually tomorrow. Get this whole field set up for, I believe, uh, we did wheat. This one will be corn. Not really the most expensive crop in the world. There's a proper road. Go ahead and accelerate fully. There's some grass to cut down as well. We'll get some, some, uh, uh, is it hay? Straw? I forget what the grass. I really like these rows. They're very curvy. Pretty fun to kind of put around on. So we'll just head back home. It's getting a little late in the evening to really start anything else, I think, for this very first episode. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, farming sim with seasons. But we'll just head home. Pretty much back the way we came. Even though I think I could have taken a quicker route. But this is this is okay. This is me not looking at my map and more or less just kind of backtracking. Alright. Back through... 
of this area. I don't know why I have a bunch of tires stacked up, to be honest. There's our field down there. Plenty of barn space. That's nice. And this way, get back on the path home. And this whole area, you know, when when it becomes winter, we'll lose all its leaves and will look pretty barren and very cold. Which will be um, an interesting look for a farming sim. You know, you don't normally get the changing of seasons. It really should be in the base game. Um, but sadly, it's just not in this case. There's our chickens right in front of our house. Let's pull up here. Now, sadly, this tractor doesn't have any mirrors, so it can be a little hard backing things up, but it looks like we we were able to get it. So we'll just lower that down and disconnect. All right, and then pull forward. I keep the tractors and things in this open, open uh, shed area. And, in fact, before I do that, I need to give this thing a quick wash, don't I? Back up real quick. Spin around the front end. And you can see it's just dirty over here. So I want to pull up to there. Hop out. That's not what I wanted. We'll give this a quick wash. There we go. Gotta get those tires, you know. Rinse off all this dirt, especially on the deck. Get pretty dirty up there. There you go. Get a good spread. And, and you know, you want to work from the top down. These are the best way to give something a wash. There you go. That, that'll do it. So we'll put that back. Hop back into the tractor. Give it a good start. Now I'm sure there'll be times where I'm too lazy to give this thing a wash after after a hard day of work. But, uh, you know, I'm fine with having the dirty look as well. I think it's pretty cool. We'll go park this with the rest of our machines. I should probably just keep the harvester back here as well, you would think. There we go. So, that is it for the first episode of Farming Sim 17 on the channel. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe for more creative goodness such as this. Go ahead and leave a like so I know you guys want to see more of this wonderful series and watch me progress through the seasons here in Farming Sim 17. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.